up on sports desk. Dave Steve looking for that elusive no-hitter in Cleveland. Tragedy at the inaugural Vancouver Indy. You know, then the drama is gone. If you don't sit back and watch an amazing story unfold. Dave Steve pitched for the Blue Jays in Cleveland. Dave Steve had a shot at a no-hitter. Dave Steve has had terrible luck in that department. Two years ago, he carried a no-hitter into the ninth inning in two straight games. He lost it on cheap hits with two outs. Then last year, he had a perfect game with two outs in the ninth. Steve had been as close as anybody could come, and you couldn't blame him if he felt just a little bit jinxed. Let's see if there was really something to the jinx theory. So Steve on the mound in the third inning gives notice that he has got his good stuff. Look at the bite to that breaking ball. Bottom of the third, he strikes that Corey Snyder, then Joel Skinner kind of swings and misses. Scoreless after three, no hits against the Jays after three. Top of the fourth, the hottest hitter on the Jays, Fred McGriff, launches one to left center field. His 30th home run of the year, the Jays move in front by a score of one to nothing. Top of the fifth now, Manny Lee doubles down the right field line. Kenny Williams had doubled. He comes in to score two to nothing at this point. And Steve continues to mow down the Indians. Here in the sixth, he faces Deion James, and watch what he does to him. Yes, the breaking ball is outstanding. Steve anxiously now awaiting his turn to come on in the ninth inning, and you got to wonder what's going through his mind. Thoughts of Roberto Kelly and the bouncing ball in Cleveland and the one that McGriff couldn't pin down, but speaking up, Fred McGriff, before Steve could come out for the ninth, McGriff hits his 31st of the year, and it's 3-0. Ninth inning, no hitter on the line. The first man that he faces is Chris James. And James gets a hold of this one for a time. It looked like it might be trouble, but Glenn Allen Hill is there for the first out of the inning. The next batter is Candy Maldonado. Steve faces Maldonado. It's high heat. He's gone. He is one out away from becoming the first Blue Jay ever to throw a no-hitter. He walked Alex Cole. Now he faces Jerry Brown. Brown, a line shot to right field. Felix starts in, then goes out, and he's got it. Junior Felix and Dave Steve and the Blue Jays can celebrate the first ever no-hitter. Steve finally did it. Finally did it. After three times so close, he does it here. And again, and that's the fourth time that he's carried a no-hitter into the ninth with two outs. But this time, he nails it away. Dave Steve becomes the first Blue Jay to throw a no-hitter. The Jays beat Cleveland by a score of three to nothing. That's four straight victories for the Jays. And uh, Dave Steve was asked whether he was thinking about the jinx. I remember sitting here last time thinking the same thing, and I didn't want to jinx myself, but I'd already thought about it, so that was that, and I just kept going at it like uh, it was the ninth anyway. I thought about that was seventh, and I went out there like it was the ninth. I did the same thing in the eighth, and in the ninth inning, I didn't want to make any bad pitches and let them beat me on that, so uh, I was very careful with uh, Cole there, and um, luckily, luckily um, last guy hit the ball right to the right fielder. Teresa referred to a tragedy at the Molson Indy. The worst fears of race fans were realized. Early in the race, Canadian Ross Bentley's car broke down. Track attendants quickly moved to push it out of the way. But it was in the worst possible place, in the midst of a hairpin turn. This is terribly graphic, what we're going to show you. So if you don't want to watch it, please turn away right now. It is uh, definitely not a pretty sight.